I lost at Yarn Chicken, but it wasn't my fault. Hello everyone and welcome to today's vlog. You probably see my yarn husband walking around the truck because he is checking to make sure our park is good. But anyway, me and the yarn husband, we're at the Whirly Gig Festival today. And yeah, we're going to see what kind of food we can get and uh, just kind of see what the locals, what are we getting into? Just seeing, um, yeah, because the Whirly Gig Festival happens every year and it's supposed to be a little bit bigger this year. So, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. I brought a project, of course. They're supposed to have more seating this year. So, um yeah we'll see if i can work on this but this is my muscle burrow hat and yeah i look forward to having a wonderful day because it is so nice the wind is a little bit out here it's not too bad it's very light wind and uh, it's really sunny and beautiful and so we'll see what we get into today So we just left the festival and uh, we had a great time, but we are extremely tired. My back is killing me and my husband's uh, knee and leg is hurting him as well. So, um, and his back as well. So we are broke down. <laughs> We are broke down, but we had a wonderful time. We got a lot of food. I got everything on my list. I got candy, you know, a candied apple, a uh, funnel cake. Um, oh, what else did we get? We got some like steak euros and uh, kettle corn. Um, oh dear, we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. But anyway, yeah, we had a wonderful time. Um, I didn't get any knitting done because I was just like, you know, having uh, too much fun and looking at too many things. But anyway, we are on our way home uh, just to relax and enjoy the rest of the day. I wanted to share a project with you all that I just finished. I love it. It brings out the inner geek in me. So here's what I've made. Oh yeah, I think you all can see what that is. So this is the insignia from Star Trek. Now my favorite um, Star Trek series is definitely TNG, The Next Generation. Um, but I also have friends that, you know, they're into the OG original series. And there's like a ton of other uh, spinoffs. I love um, Picard and DS9. I have been trying to catch up on Deep Space Nine. So I'm a huge Trekkie and I love this. So I have been using this yarn quite a bit. Um, the yarn that I am using is Lily Sugar and Cream and it's a solid and it is in the dark orchid colorway. So you all may be familiar with this yarn if you've been watching because this is my third washcloth that I've made. The other two are here and they are Doctor Who washcloths and I showed and talked about them um, in a previous episode. But uh, yeah, this is my Star Trek. Now this is called the Baby Trekkie Washcloth by Samantha Rogers 
And this is a free pattern. It's really nice, it's really easy, well-written, uh, simple and easy to use. Now mine measured out at nine by nine inches, which is great. Now these are more really purely decorative for me. Um, I don't think I'll actually use these, but um, they are fun to have around the office. And so I used a US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter um, knitting needle. And in terms of the yarn, even after doing three dishcloths, I still have yarn left over. And so this particular Lily Sugar and Cream was the super size. It was a big, big ball of yarn and it's amazing. I would definitely use this yarn again. Let me know if you use Sugar and Cream yarn or if you have another cotton yarn that you prefer to use for like household items and things like that. And so I love it and um, I just think it's amazing. And definitely if you are a Star Trek fan or if you're someone who knows a Star Trek fan, this is definitely a nice gift for them. It only took me about a day maybe a day and a half to make this. So it is a super, super quick and easy, fun knit. I am outside the house because my husband drugged me or assisted me outside of the house today. We have to go get the truck inspected and uh, I'm a homebody. So I don't really like going out of the house, but here I am. Hermit. <gasps> oh, that is rude. <laughs> oh, that, did you all hear that? Oh, you going on camera, you going on camera. No. <laughs> Now he being shy, but he <laughs> calling insults. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. everyone I am back it's later on in the afternoon and I lost at yarn chicken but it's not my fault and I will tell you why okay so here's the thing let me share with you all what I'm making first so I am making the classic knitted tank top by Crojo no knit crow attic I promise I practiced that and I still messed it up but anyway, the yarn that I'm using for this is Drops Merino, uh, Drops Extra Fine Merino in the mustard colorway. Okay, so this was yarn that I got during a de-stash. And before I bought the yarn, um, I already had a project in mind based on what the pattern called for. So according to the pattern for my size, which is a 2XL, you need 670 yards. And I was like, great, I'm good because I have 690 yards. So I have made a tank top before with even less yardage. So I was like, great, this is gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna have enough yarn. So anyway, I'm knitting along and I'm realizing that I'm gonna run out of yarn. Like what is happening here? I have more yarn than the pattern calls for so what in the world is happening here so anyway i got this far i finished the body and then i got down to the bond off and check this out i had that much of the bond off left to do when i ran out of yarn i was like i knew it i knew i was gonna run out of yarn it's so frustrating i just knew it i mean that's probably seven, eight inches left. And the thing is I ran out of yarn and I still have the neckline to do and both armholes to do. So frustrating because I thought I was going to have enough yarn. So because of this, I had to order two more balls of this yarn. 
Now, the only downside to that is I ordered from Wool Warehouse and they're located in the UK. So I'm gonna have to wait a few weeks, hopefully no more than a week, week and a half. But I was really hoping to finish this because it's not, I don't have a lot left. And yeah, it just really sucks that I ran out. And so I was thinking about it. Now, could it be that the designer did a typo? Did perhaps maybe she meant to say, uh, 770 yards, or maybe she meant to say 870 yards. I don't know. Maybe it's a typo. I can't say because another thing too, is when you look on the Ravelry page for this, um, for this pattern, it says that it has sizes. I think it's X extra small through extra large. So of course I wouldn't have been able to fit that, but I decided to look on her website and it actually goes up to 2XL. And so I was like, okay, so that's one little, one little typo, one little thing she left out. I'm glad I looked at her website, but also, um, there was a typo in the yardage that's needed. And I think that's really important because if you're like me, I buy yarn according to a pattern. So if a pattern says that you need 670 yards for the X, for the 2XL, then to me having 690 yards, is more than enough. And I met Gage, I used the correct um, needle size, I did all the things, so I don't think it's on me. I bought two um, balls of yarn. Hopefully, you know, I'll only need one, but I just bought two just in case because I only have this little tiny bit of the hem to do. And uh, yeah, now um, I did make some modifications because I was like running out of yarn. Um, that was before I decided to just like, you know, go ahead and buy two more. So instead of doing the twisted rib, I am doing a regular one by one rib. And also instead of doing the tubular bond off where you have to have like a ton of yarn left so you can sew, um, do a sewn bond off, I just decided to do a regular one by one rib bind off. And so that's what I did, but you know, it didn't work out anyway, but it's fine. I'm going to continue doing it this way. And so, yeah, this is it. I'm loving it. It's turning out really well. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any complaints. I am changing it up a little bit, which is fine. It's kind of fun to change the pattern up a little bit, but you know, I'm excited. I can't wait to actually wear it. I mean, look at this color. Like this is a beautiful, beautiful color. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I'll be happy when my yarn gets here because I really, really wanted uh, to, I wanted to be able to like wear this this week. I've already thought about outfits and you know, how planning and stuff like that, but oh well, it didn't work out. So I'll definitely keep you all updated. Um, I'll probably do like a whole video dedicated to this tank top. I really like doing those. Uh, I definitely have some coming up. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, I did finish my anchor tee and I have a video coming out about that. I'm working on it. Hopefully I can get it out this week, if not next week. So yeah, I'm really excited. I like doing the videos where they focus on one particular uh, project. And so I like doing that with crochet projects that I finish and knitting products or projects that I finish. So yeah, thank you all so much for joining me for another vlog. Um, just based off some of your comments, I can tell that you all really enjoy the vlogs and I enjoy making it. It's a lot of fun. Um, so thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment. Let me know what you're working on. How's your week going? Um, definitely let me know. I would love to hear and yeah, thank you all so much for watching and until next time. Bye.